perfect fit. Life is pretty strange. You never know where it's going to take you. It turns and surprises us pleasantly along the way. But in my wildest dream, I would never have thought I would end up here in picturesque Banff. Wherever we travel, shoes or sandals or slippers are our constant companion. I wore during my journey to Canada were my cousin Pema's shoes, which she gave me a long time back. The thing is, I was born in exile in India to a humble Tibetan family. Tibet is my fatherland. In 1959, Chinese regime invaded Tibet and my parents, my mom and her parents fled Tibet to escape torture or just getting shot. My father and my uncles were part of the guerrilla fighters who attempted to stop the invasion but their small troop was nothing in front of huge Chinese military force. Although I wasn't part of that period, I heard about the stories from my parents and grandparents. I never owned fancy expensive shoes for the fact. I know how hard my parents worked to care for me and my brothers. Being the eldest, I was kind of more aware of that fact, so I didn't make any demands. Any shoes were good enough. But my mom knew I was fond of pretty shoes, and I still am. I remember fondly when my cousin Pema sent me a brand new shoes. I'm very close with my cousin Pema. We grew up together in a small Tibetan settlement at the easternmost edge of India in Arunachal Pradesh. We shared the same temperament, and she was my partner in crime. In 2008, Pema moved to Switzerland and started everything from beginning. Everything was new, whether food, culture, and language. I heard about her struggles in a new country and not speaking the language. I heard things aren't cheap in Switzerland, Yet, she thought of me. In 2012, a man from our village going back to visit India, Pema sent me a parcel with him, a pair of military-colored ballet flats from Zara made of camouflage cloth with a gold-studded front. They fit my feet perfectly. The parcel was such a pleasant surprise. She hadn't mentioned anything about sending those shoes. And the amazing part was the shoes fit. I'm still thankful to Pema for so many reasons. We are very close cousins. Now, she has her own family in Switzerland and recently gave birth to a healthy baby boy. Like Pema, I'm now experiencing the same journey, starting again from the bottom after coming to Calgary in 2015. My job as a room attendant in BAM Center demands a lot of patience, and it's physically challenging, but things are better than before. Like a river flows by along the water current, I'm living life as it comes, with true appreciation. It was tough at the beginning to adapt to the climate, and also food-wise and custom-wise, and, and so many things I wasn't accustomed to. However, things are very smoother now. I don't feel homesick that often. I'm planning to visit my family in India in October. This will be the first time I'll go back. Of course, I'm taking shoes with me for gifts. <laughs> Cat sneakers, which I think will be very good for long summers in India. I want my family to feel loved and cared for, like my cousin Pema made me feel back then. Four months to go and I'll be off to India. For me, gifts are not merely gifts. They are extension of my love, my consideration, sacrifice, and energy one has put into procuring the present. And what better present than good shoes? 
Thank you. Now may I have the pleasure to call upon Nojana. Thank you.